Oh my god. Hey, what's up guys? It's Premier. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, if I look like shit to you guys, it's because it's like 5 o'clock in the fucking morning. And if I sound like shit, it's because I think I'm sick a little bit or some shit. So I decided to do a video. So fuck it, you know what I'm saying? But um, I want to do some speculation talks and shit like that. I'm not a news channel or anything like that. So I'm, you know, I'm basically here just to have fun with you guys. But I really wanted to talk about some things that were going on in the Call of Duty community and stuff like that. Uh, as you guys know, it was a post out yesterday, I think. Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield, they actually left uh, Sledgehammer yesterday. So that... I don't really know what that means for Call of Duty, World War II right now, or anything really. Probably, honestly, not, like, a big deal. They're still at Activision, so they're still working, probably, still, like, in the same building with Call as Call of Duty is. I think they're just working on some new projects and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I really just want to talk about it. I've been really thinking to myself lately that, um, you know, Call of Duty World War II is, is fantastic. I do like playing it. I have a good time playing it, but it's getting a little stale now, I think, and... It's been out three months or something like that. We've had our first map pack on PlayStation. Xbox still has, they're still lagging behind. I just really wanted to talk about what may be coming in the future, like 2018, 2019, what I think will be, what I think will be coming in the future. Uh, a lot of people like to speculate that Black Ops is gonna be, Black Ops 4 is gonna be a new title, which I'm not really 100% sold on that. It might be, but the next company that's working on 2018's game is Treyarch, and they are notorious for the Black Ops games and stuff like that, all the Black Ops and stuff like that. So, you know, they're notorious for it they have it they got the formula they're pretty much probably i think every black ops game that's ever came out is pretty much everyone's favorite in terms of call of duty it, it, black ops does really fucking well for activision and call of duty as a whole do i think black ops 4 is going to be the next title i mean i don't really know i uh, fuck i don't know it's 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 pretty Damn, fuck this game, dude. Fuck Gustav, man. I'm so sick and tired of this goddamn map. Most likely gonna be Black Ops 4. I don't see them starting a new thing. They've always done Black Ops, so I think that they would do Black Ops 4. A lot of people like to think that they're gonna go back into futuristic, back into advanced movements, you know, stay boots on the ground and stuff like that. I'm not really 100% sure. A lot of people complained about going back to boots on the ground. A lot of people started in advanced warfare, Black Ops 3, and then infinite warfare. A lot of people are used to the advanced movements and shit like that, and I'm just like, I would rather prefer to have a boots on the ground game. I've been playing Call of Duty since uh, COD 4. Um, I really want to talk about what Infinity Ward's got for us. Infinity Ward, they sucked. Uh, they've, they've, uh, they've sucked. They've really sucked for the past couple of years, to be honest. If that's just being me, I didn't play a whole lot of Ghosts. Um, I really just didn't. I didn't find a whole Ghost all that much fun. The story was actually badass, though. The story was really good. I think Infinity Ward has stepped up their story, like their gameplay and their stories and stuff like that. Their campaigns have definitely been very good the past couple of years, to be honest. The games that they make aren't bad games in any way, of shape, or form, or anything like that. They just, some pe fans just don't like them. I think last year was really bad. I did just, Infinite Warfare was terrible, in my opinion. I fucking hated that game. Did, could just, really just didn't like playing it at all. But I think the next game, obviously a lot of people know this, but since, you know, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, they all have backwards compatibility and stuff like that, and... Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 do not have backwards compatible. I really believe, in my opinion, that they are probably going to remaster both. They're probably going to remaster both of them. I always, I had a thing that I was thinking about was, I thought that this would be a really cool idea. I, was, I thought about it last night and a couple days ago, but what if they took Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 and they kind of combined the games? I, I would pretty, pretty much be down to play that if they took all the maps, all the guns and everything, just put them into the game and let you go crazy i don't really know how that would work though because these are two absolutely different games it's not like it's just a reskin of a former game or anything like that i don't know that'd be probably pretty tough to pull off to be honest i think it'd be really cool and really fun if you took modern warfare 3 and modern warfare 2 and kind of combined them put them in the same game you know um took some things out of one game put them into the other game you know stuff like that i think that'd be really cool you know it, it, they're two different games but they're not that different from each other if you took every map and put them into one game but uh what if the, what i mean what if they just did like you have we, they did remastered of, of modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 put them in the same game and then you could just play like oh i want to play modern warfare 2 remastered today so then you go play Modern Warfare 2, and then you have Modern Warfare 2's, uh, just Modern Warfare 2. And then you're like, oh, well, I want to go switch over to Modern Warfare 3. So then you go play Modern Warfare 3. 
uh, that would even be a cool idea. I think that's probably what they're going to do, to be honest. Or maybe the, they're just going to do Modern Warfare 2 Remastered and then Modern Warfare 3 in another three years. They really need to come out strong. And they've, they've lacked in the past two years that they've developed the game. They've lacked. And it's not looking good for them, to be honest, in a certain way. It's just not looking good for infinity ward and which sucks because they are one of my favorite developers of games treyarch i love treyarch and sledgehammer is i haven't completely hated a game sledgehammer has came out with but yeah talking on that is um that's what i think is gonna happen that's really what i would like to see i would like to see modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 combined and make it one game i think that'd be really cool really unique and yeah i really think that's what they're gonna do in 2018 i really think that's what they're gonna do in 2019 i probably think that they'll probably stick with black ops Treyarch will probably stick with black ops series i don't want them to go back to advanced movement but if that's what they choose then that's what they choose you know what i mean like you really can't i mean it, it'd probably piss a lot of people off but probably piss you know, probably wouldn't piss a whole bunch of people off. I bet some people would actually be happy to go back to advanced movement and stuff like that. And for Infinity Ward to really fix their shit that's been going on, they really should just remaster. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me guys know what you guys thought down in the comments section below. And, um, yeah, tell me what you guys think about what Treyarch is going to do next year and what Infinity Ward is going to do two years down next year in 2019 or whatever the fuck the year after Treyarch. And, um, yeah, guys, just leave a like, subscribe if you feel like it, and I hope the rest of your day is the best of your day, guys. Peace, peace.